hello everyone this video is a continuation of part 2 video so in part 2 we see how we can uh, uh, send uh, email from lambda function by calling SES uh, service similarly like uh, now in this video we gonna see from S3 bucket how we gonna trigger lambda which in turn gonna uh, trigger the SES uh, service basically we want to send an email notification as and, as and when you place an object in a S3 bucket so this is like uh, previously in the part one we created this identities so we should have the email which should be uh, verified and as part of the uh, part two video we have created a lambda service uh, which gonna send email by calling the SES service so today uh, in this video we're gonna create a S3 bucket and uh, when you put an object in S3 bucket which is gonna trigger this lambda and it's gonna notify the users so let's jump into this uh, lambda service now like uh, uh, this is a previous lambda function so this lambda function is gonna uh, send an email to the uh, user whichever I mean the user ID whichever we configure email ID whichever we configure in the function so now what so this is the part 2 this we saw this in part 2 so now we gonna now we gonna create a S3 bucket and we gonna uh, whenever you put an object in S3 bucket, we should notify the user. This is done with the help of Lambda and SEO service. What you do is first you create a bucket. So we're going to create a bucket name as uh, uh, trigger email. So it's just some, yeah, some random bucket name. Then uh, I'm going to keep the remaining as it is. No change to that and uh, I'm going to click on create bucket so let it exist so test. Uh, I'll create a bucket name with a trigger email test uh, create bucket so now the bucket is created let's go into this one so I'm going to click on the properties if you go down further you could see even notifications so Whenever you post and uh, whenever you put a file into this bucket, we want to notify the users. For the purpose, we're going to configure here the event notification. Click on create event notification. The event name is put notify notify user and type. So object creations like any objects you created in this bucket, you want to notify. Or you can specifically if you want to certain uh, uh, types you want to uh, use you can use that as well but in this demo I'm going to use all objects created I'm going to do that next um, uh, and if you go down further next is destinations to which which destination you want to notify this one so I'm going to use a lambda function here and you should I mean then specify lambda function choose from your lambda functions if you know the error you can give the error here or you can choose from the lambda function here so I'm, I'm choosing the first option here and then I'm choosing a lambda send email save uh, save changes so now the operation successfully completed so now so this is the bucket and I have created the not even notification as well and this is the lambda function which we get as part of in part 2 video and this is um, so here the two address, this two address as well as the source address, these both address should be verified. If you don't verify this address, then uh, the email will not be sent, you will get an error message. And also you should have this lambda role, right? This config, this lambda role should have access to this, uh, access to the uh, SES uh, the policies. So that we saw in part two, just recap on that one. Yeah, so now what you're going to do is we're going to put a, a bar, uh, file into this uh, bucket so let me open this one upload click on add files put this this file click on upload so when I press click on upload this file is uploaded now now let's go on check our email 
so now you could see I, we got an email saying that test email from lambda by s3 so now we got a f uh, email so yeah so this is the, the, this like this you can uh, uh, trigger you can send notify to the user whenever an object is placed in a s3 bucket so what we do is like uh, so now what we do is we just in the lambda function let us trigger we have this, this is a lambda function right so in this code what we are going to do is we just print this event and see what exactly we get in that event so we just saw like whenever we place a file in s3 bucket the email notification is sent to the user for example if you want to specifically uh, say like what is the file name like based on like which event this particular email was triggered if you want to notify that if you want to send that file name as part of the email that also we can do for the purpose what we can do is uh, i just quickly show here uh, we can print this uh, event as well as this context so let's let, let, let's print this event and as well as the context here so this will uh, list you the uh, what is the exact uh, event this particular uh, lambda is being called here that you can identify here so i'm just gonna use deploy here so I'm just printing this event as well as context. So once uh, once this particular uh, lambda is triggered, then you'll come to know what exactly the event name as well as the uh, the object name. So we just click this. Uh, uh, so which is now it's deployed. Let's do one thing. Let's go to S3 S3 bucket, and and now do is I'm gonna add a, a file here. Add files. So here I'm going to add an image 3966, open this, upload. So now the file is uploaded. So you obviously will get an email in your email box. Let's check that. So go to the inbox, see you saw an email that is being uh, sent to the users. So now let's go and check. Uh, uh, check the cloud watch so you can go to cloud watch click on the log groups logs log groups and this lambda send email click on this one so here is the latest uh, log if you click on this one you will find the see now in the event this is what exactly what happened here if you see here uh this the event name is object created put and you could see here the bucket name is uh, uh, trigger email test and if you want to see exactly the object you could see the object the key is the name of the object so if you want uh, this name to be as part of email from the lambda function you can extract this name and you can because this is going to be a uh, this is going to be a JSON format. So from this JSON, you can extract this value, and you can send as part of your emails. So in this Lambda function, you can extract from this context. You can extract this uh, value, specific value. If you want to mention the file name, you can put that in that email, and you can send that to the users. Hope this helps. And thanks for watching.